Here's what I want you to copy from me. I, I think I have a good way of generating novel answers to political problems. When I say novel, I mean like I can think of something, spit it through my internal processes, and then say like I'm pro or anti this thing without just copying somebody's opinion. That is the only thing I want you to copy from me. I don't sit here and say you should copy my lifestyle, that you should copy my fucking polyamory, that you should copy my cheating, that you should copy me fucking your mom, that you should copy me living in Miami, that you should copy me playing video games, that you should copy the amount of hours I put in my work, that you should copy how much I travel, that you should copy my spending, that you should copy my hobby. I don't say any of that. The difference between me and all these other fucking ideological fucking losers today is I'm not trying to sell you a fucking lifestyle. I don't think my lifestyle would work for most people. I've said that a million fucking times. But all these other guys on the internet, it's not enough to just give you one piece of advice or say like, hey, learn this thing from me. They have to, they all think that they're gurus on the way to educate you for the entirety of your existence. That's my issue with people like Sneeko. And it's not just Sneeko, it's what he's copy pasted from all the red pill people. Sneeko did it in his video about Moist Critical. He's like, well, what do you think about Moist Critical, right? Do you want to be this guy? Like, look at the way that he lives his life and then compare him to me. Like, no, but I don't think, Charlie's not trying to sell you a fucking lifestyle. Charlie's not trying to say, copy me and be just like me. That's what Sneeko's saying. That's what the red pill people are saying. Copy everything I do. Go to the gym. Do what I do. Have the same opinions about the world I do. Join Islam and cuck out like I do. Do this. All this. Shit. When I say cuck out, I mean join the religion, not the actual cuck. Right? That, that's the difference, though. So for Brittany to say, like, Stephen is closed-minded, but Sneeko is open-minded. Sneeko is literally telling people to copy-paste his lifestyle verbatim when his lifestyle changes every three months. It's like, it's such a shallow understanding of what it means to be open-minded or closed-minded that, like... <sighs> okay. <clears throat> what is Steven really talking about when he says that Fresh and Fit give bad dating advice or that they're not good for dating advice? They're good enough for their bubble, just like Steven's advice is good enough for his bubble. But, if I, but I don't tell people to, I don't, I don't know how many times I've myself. I, to say for the 50 trying time, I never tell people to model their relationships off of me, ever. I don't, never said that ever, never, never. Now, Brittany, does tell people to model their relationships off of hers, by the way. She did it at the last, at the end of her last live stream. She did that. She said, oh, you guys should try this thing I'm doing. Um, I've never, I don't give, when I give relationship advice, um, I'm, I'm telling people like, here are the general tried and true, like tips and tricks of like dating, and like the advice that I gave earlier, for instance, about comparing people to other people is a deadly thing. That like, that has nothing to do with my personal life. That's just some like basic blanket advice that applies to literally everybody.